frankly, I find it uh, most simple, the law of parsimony, to just think of these experiences as within the psyche, like they're not in psilocybin, they're not in ayahuasca. You know, they're simply within us. And, you know, they happen without drugs, too, in meditation, in natural childbirth, in moments of creative performance, very exceptional sexual experiences, whatever. They're just kind of part of the human repertoire where our biochemistry somehow triggers access to these other realms of human experience. And it may be that some drugs may have a higher probability of... Uh, facilitating specific types of experiences than others. Maybe uh, if you really want to uh, look at ancestral experience or uh, plant life or whatever, one drug is more likely to do it than another. But I wouldn't be convinced until a really large sample of people had taken two drugs double blind and looked at the content of those experiences because the range is so vast with any one drug that I think a real error is made where somebody takes a drug and has a specific experience and then they say that's what that drug does you know it's like the the uh, pig blind pygmies and the elephant you know all, they all have a little piece of the truth but the whole truth is infinitely uh, more complex <laughs>